There are heirs to a tradition that has been around since the beginning of civilization. Modern day warriors for whom physical supremacy remains the ultimate judge. Students of an art where nothing will be left tested more than faith, focus, and determination. He is fearless, relentless, and eager for another chance to prove he is more than just another fighter. In his pursuit, he has taken on huge obstacles, being the CEO of two mainstream gyms. A new modern day warrior with philosophies of ancient warfare. 10 months. Fight camps from Miami to Morocco to London. This is Khaled Ismail. The story so far. Every story has a beginning. Khaled Ismail's started on the 11th of April, 1980, in a place called Newham, East London. As a child, Khalid was known to be very mischievous and always play fighting. His introduction to martial arts came from a strange situation and a very unlikely source. I was about five years old, uh, caught asthma, and then uh, mum decided to take me to uh, doctors first, and he said uh, get involved in sports. So she had the idea of taking me martial arts, swimming, gymnastics, all that type of stuff. So uh, thanks to mummy, I'm doing what I'm doing. No one ever knew I did martial arts. Um, I kind of kept it a secret. Uh, I thought it was something for myself, self-development. There was a few guys around ran, ran the block that were known as kickboxers and fighters and it was that reputation um, that they were known by that I, I didn't want that. His intensity developed him into one of the UK's top kickboxing champions, winning the Basma British Championship from 1998 to 2001 and the Waco British Heavyweight Championship in 2005, 2007 and 2008. The more he fought, the more his hunger for self-development grew. His introduction into MMA came through a street fight in his early 20s. I was coming home from uni one day and uh, two guys tried to run me over in a car. So I ended up uh, getting an altercation with them. I ended up knocking two of them out. And then one, the one that fell on the floor, ended up grabbing my jumper and started pulling me around and I couldn't do anything. Uh, went home that day, I think UFC was on watched it and then kind of knew that I needed to learn some grand skills um, and from there I think MMA grew and I just got into it and then I really, really enjoyed the grand stuff and wrestling so that's how I got into MMA. The sport of mixed martial arts has reached new heights in recent years, pulling in millions of viewers from all across the world. Khalid's talents as a fighter did not go unnoticed by the UK's leading MMA promoter Dave O'Donnell. Every now and again, you get a fighter that I employ or that steps into the cage that has got the certain X factor. Trust me, Khaled Ismail has got it. He's got it all, he's got the looks, he's got the persona, he's got the walk, he's got the Superman t-shirt. He is what an MMA fighter should be. His first fight, he stepped in against Tommy Kelly. Now, Tommy was experienced, good tight boxer, had been in MMA uh, quite a long time, been on Fighting Hurts, been on TV, knew what it was all about. Khaled was just a kickboxer. But he was a kickboxer with difference. He had the secret, he had the power, he had the magic. And when he stepped in that cage, nothing phased him, and he was 100% game on. Yeah, very, very big guys. Straight away, Cardi looking to dominate the big punches. This guy's going to be stopped. Big shots, Cardi Ishmael, Black Schultz, Tommy Kelly, Red. Bit of a reaching shot from Kelly that needs to establish this. Oh. A big ride from Ishmael there. His hands like a jackhammer and it stopped. Wow. There it was, Rob. I pulled it, the big right hand, and literally 10 seconds later, he's knocked him out. He's a very individual character. You know, I haven't met many guys like him. He's got that great persona about him. Uh, he's kind of humble as well. Like, he reminds me of Anderson Silva, who's really, you know, I've trained with Anderson Silva. Had breakfast with Anderson Silva. He's so humble. You, you wouldn't think he was a champion. He's just a nice, nice guy. And Khaled's at. Khaled Isma is many things to many people. A pro athlete, a coach, a team member, a mentor. For successful individuals of all types, multitasking can be a critical skill. In the winter of 2006, he opened the first LDG Fitness Center in Chadwell Heath, London, fusing his role as a businessman and an MMA fighter. Due to the gym's overwhelming success, 
Khalid decided to open the second branch of the LDG brand in Romford, London in 2010. He, he knows what he wants as a boss um, and he lets you know as well. But, um, but it's motivating working for him obviously. He's into the fitness side of it rather than just the business side. So he covers all aspects and yeah, he's motivating to work for and you want to work hard for him. I think when you're around someone who's at the top level, you see what it takes and uh, you want to take that away and put it into your own training and whilst you're training others as well because you want to be at the top of your game whether it's fighting like Khalid or personal training or whatever you're doing, you want to strive to be at the top of your game. Anytime we come here, like everyone greets you well. There's no animosity, no one don't care how big or small you are. Like we even get little guys coming up to oh mate, you're doing that wrong. Do it this way and I said, I'm right. And it's, you know, it's good to learn. Everybody learns from each other. So it's quite a family orientated gym really. In the East End of London, fighting is always a topic of conversation. So there is no better place to find Khalid training than in his LDG gyms. Twice a day, six times a week, constantly seeking to improve on the skills that make up MMA. Push, uphill, come on, push, push. Good, use them legs. Come on, low, nice and low. Keep it going. Push, dig them heels in. Keep it going. Nice. Pick it up, pick it up. Uh, get under. Yes. Come on, big. Uh, push. Good. Again. Strong. Big back. Uh, push. That's it. Up and under again. Last one. Come on, up. Yes, lovely. Push. Uh, hold your hand. Both sides. Keep it going. Full force. Come on, harder than that. I know you can go harder. Come on. Yes, good, keep it going. Don't stop yet. Khalid works 100%, puts everything in. Love working with him. Everything he does is to the book. He has everything planned out, and yeah, it's just a perfect sort of training partner to us. But he does work 100% when, when he's in that mode. There's nothing else that can distract him. I always believe that uh, pay yourself the best you can and the rest on the day is up to God kind of thing. So as long as you've done the work, uh, I'll be happy with that. So that's why you train hard, make sure you're ready and when you go and fight, whatever happens on the day happens. So that kind of thing right now in our control. Um, I'm, well, my name is Terry Dunstan. Um, I'm, well, former British Commonwealth European champion. Uh, what it is, I'm, I'll do the boxing side of it. Five, five disciplines, I'll do the boxing side of it. Yeah. 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 Pop now! Again. Pop now! Nah. Yeah. So his biggest strengths, what a lot of people don't seem to realise, is um, on the floor. He, he, you know, he's phenomenal on the floor. To see someone such as Cully, he's like a little midget, but he jumps higher than most six foot, six foot four foot fellas. Let's go, go out the bag, to the side. Yep. Yeah. Full man. Side round, let's go. Come on. That's it, keep it going, work the bag. Let's go. Straight in. That's it, keep me on the bag. Diet is very, very important. Um, I tend to eat eight meals a day. Um, I think because we're training twice a day, you need to get the right nutrients in your body. And if you don't, you kind of feel it after the second or third day, you, you'll know that your body's going to break down. Fighters who succeed at the highest level understand the art of true mental discipline. Khalid lives his life in accordance to his faith and his strong belief in the ancient samurai philosophy of Bushido. The Bushido Code is typified by seven virtues, rectitude, courage, benevolence, respect, honesty, honor, and loyalty. This is martial arts in its true beauty. So like now, I always look at the samurais and I think to myself that um, these guys were the most fearsome warriors around at that time, but they were the most humblest and respectful people. Now those characters are beautiful, so like now, to the average Joe, I could be nice to you and humble and be good, but if you cross the line, then you become some complete different entity, and these are the warrior type. So obviously now we're gonna go at it 
and then you, tr you train your mind and your body to be like that. Khalid was hungry to get back into the cage as soon as possible. The taste of victory left Khalid wanting more. His next opponent, Wayne Brown, gave him the perfect opportunity to showcase even more of his abilities. I don't really need to express myself in fighting um, with words. I can do it, I'll do it in the cage. So when he was saying to me, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I went, okay then, I go, you, you know the way I fight. Tomorrow the door's gonna close and it's only gonna be me and you, and that's it. So all the talking stops, and that is it. So like, I, I mean, I can, I can sit there with a smile on my face and it, and it won't bother me because once that cage is, once that cage door is shut, so you're, you're in there with something else. You both know the rules. Any questions? All right, remember, no elbows to the head of a down fighter. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. When I say stop, you stop. Okay, fight fair, fight hard, fight clean. Touch gloves, make it official. I kind of came out, touch gloves, um, and then I, uh, we, I think he, he went to throw a kick, and I threw my kick, caught him on the shin, and snapped his leg broke. Um, shin snapped in half, I think it was. Um, and it was over in seven seconds. And you can see Brown in a lot of discomfort, a lot of pain. You heard Shoot that. Trunks. The man, it, oh, oh, and you heard something snap instantly. Wow. And you can see Brown in a lot of discomfort, a lot of pain. You heard the crack. Um, 14 weeks of training twice a day in seven seconds. But um, I looked at it as hard work pays off. On the surface, MMA is a demonstration of intense animal instinct. However, deep in its core, it is an expression of all that man is, his potential to achieve his wildest dreams, the power to inspire many, and the wisdom to endure loss. It is often said that fighters only really know themselves once they face challenging setbacks. In his last sparring session before his third fight, Khalid suffered an almost career-ending injury so began a whole different fight. Uh, basically, just before my last fight, um, my last sparring session was training, um, went to throw the guy in and my bicep popped off. Um, and I kind of said to the guys after that, let's do some uh, kicks, a bit silly. Um, ended up going hospital and getting stitched back though. been nine weeks um, so I think I was training as soon as I got back from hostel I got I went out for a walk so I didn't mentally didn't want it to defeat me um, I'm back training properly to be honest um, it's just I got it swell it swells up as you can see my forearms a bit, a bit bigger than the other one so it, swell, it swells up so I see it just gotta be careful with it oh, come on big leg up up yes lovely Lovely. Now, straight to your bar. Run low. Go low. 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 Here we go. I am. I am. I am. Champion. Well, the goal at the moment is to just get back into fighting trait. I, I want to test myself against the best. And I'm not going to jump the gun. I've, I'm only had two. I'm only two and zero at the moment. Um, and also I just want to work my way up, get enough experience, and probably and probably fight the best people out here. Beyond the sport of MMA, identity can be a significant struggle. Choosing who you are, determining how you want to be remembered. These are the questions that Khalid is answering in a purposeful way. His rapid punching power and immense kicking ability make him a scary opponent for any fighter. These attributes, combined with his determined and disciplined mindset, give him the entire makeup of a future MMA champion. These are rare. And only once in a generation do fighters come along who will imprint a part of themselves onto history.